having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side Cause I haven't figured out this faith of mine But the problem isn't sitting on a wooden hill It's the digging through the dark parts we've been through So be still, you don't always have to have an answer Good afternoon everyone, Oki and I had a wonderful walk at the beach and as a result are actually running a little bit late so I'm going to keep this part short but as you might have told by the thumbnail or the title of this video, some pretty big things are going on in my life at the moment. You know, I talked in my last video about moving forward and one thing that I didn't talk about in that video because I was halfway through the process and to be honest, I was a bit worried I wasn't going to get the job and then I didn't want to mention it to you guys and then not get the job because then it would have felt even worse that I didn't get it. But the good news is I got the job. It's not a big mystery. I will tell you what it is very shortly. But essentially, I start on Monday. It is Saturday. I have so much to do. And the first thing to tick off on that list is to go and get a haircut. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. It's been a few years since I've had a proper haircut. I think like five years to be exact since I've had a proper haircut. I'm just ready for a change, ready for it to stop going in my mouth when I surf. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't change who I am as a human being because I don't think it will. All right, let's go. Sorry, Ock, you've been demoted to the back. All right, happy to drive? <laughs> sure am, let's do this. Okay, so Tom is doing an excellent job in the driver's seat. Tom, what do you reckon the overall reaction will be to the haircut? Positive that I'm getting it or sad the locks are going? Oh, I think it'll depend on what the, what the finished result looks like. Pressure's on for Danny, the barber. So, the job. I am going back to paramedics, which I'm guessing a few of you might have guessed. It's been over a year in the making, this application, and the timing in the end of, has been a little bit serendipitous in that they contacted me just under two months ago, and since then, things have happened really quickly. They gave me an interview within the week, and then since then, I've had another interview, I've done a medical, I've had to get vaccinations, I've had to do a driver training course, and a whole lot of study, really, to remember the stuff that I've forgotten over the last five years of not working as a paramedic. I'm really excited about getting back into the job for a few reasons. The number one just being, I'm looking forward to doing some hands-on helping people again. It's something that I've missed when I've been working kind of through YouTube and in these travel videos is really that one-on-one -on -one interaction. Good driving, mate. Cheers, bro. <laughs> and... This is our barber across the road. Now, we were actually recommended this barber from a friend because they do a lot of work with mental health as well. And it looks bloody cool in there. It does. Hearts and minds. Danny, how are you, mate? Nice to meet you. Good morning. Thanks. This is my brother, Tom. Hey, how you going? This is his camera. There you go. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? How are you? Max. 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 Nice right. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you, Tom. All right. What's happening? Well, as I mentioned, pretty keen to get a fair bit yeah, yeah. chopped off, I think. Yeah. But um, yeah, had you guys recommended pretty highly, so excited Thanks to get done. Yeah. 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 What's your dog? He, is he allowed inside? Yeah, the dog in, Oh, can you get the haircut too, mate? Right? True. <laughs> <laughs> nice dog, man. Yeah, he's Hello. a good boy. Hello. I can't just get a little bit of hair off him. I look like Hermione Granger. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't comb my hair. The good thing is, brushed and put in a pin like that, it looks terrible, so it'll make you feel better about getting it cut off. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit overdue, to be honest. Are we good? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, there's no going back now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
To be honest, I'm surprised there's not like spiders and stuff in there, mate. Hey, come on. <laughs> Definitely look at Bradley Cooper and I. Hold on. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Looking good, mate. So we're done. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I reckon that's exactly what your hair looked like in high school. <laughs> <laughs> what started the interest for you guys in mental health? Like, was it from your army background or just because, as you said, this is like a safe place? Or? Yeah, man, it, it, the whole vision has always been just to create a place for dudes to come in, get a haircut, talk some shit, and, you know, and do what they, you know, be relaxed. This is a place where they come to touch for half an hour, you know, get away from the stresses of life. Um, because most dudes don't have that. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Have to have an answer. Well, I'm figuring out you don't always have to figure it out. We'll see when the camera gets switched off. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Well, good. Thanks so much, man. No worries. I'll have to be back for the tidy house now. Yeah. I guess I'll have to get more, well, than, you know. more than one every three years, hey? Yeah. Hey, Rory, come here. Hello. I did. What do you think? Well, I tell you what, after that was my second hot shower I've had since the haircut last night and the ability to for my hair to be dry like that, that makes it all worth it. Okay. Well, before I jump into all the shit that I need to get done today, I want to take this opportunity to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. If you've watched my channel for a while or my past stuff, then you will know that I am a huge fan of Audible and listening to audiobooks in general. I love the fact that whilst you're doing one task, you can be achieving something else by learning. The one that I mainly want to talk about is not a new book. It's by David D. Burns. It's called Feeling Good. And the reason that I I've chosen this one as the main one to talk about is because whether you feel like you've had your own mental health issues or whether you know someone, I, I mean, I think it's your pretty rare unit if you don't know someone that's had some mental health issues at least. Feeling good, it's about cognitive behavioral therapy, but the way Dr. David Burns describes everything in there, it's really easy to understand and it gave me so much more of an insight into the way that people with specific disorders and things feel and, you know, their thought processes. And I think it also just really makes you realize that a lot of the weird thoughts that you have, you're not alone. If anything, it makes you go, oh shit, I'm not special because everyone thinks those things at some point. So I really encourage you all to have a listen or a read to Feeling Good at some point because I think it's something that not only will help you but will help those around you. If you don't know what Audible is, then I probably should have started with that. 
Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment. They have the largest selection of audiobooks with thousands of audiobooks and titles at their disposal. As an Audible member, you will get one credit every month, which is good for any title in their premium selection. But on top of that, you also get access to the Audible Plus catalog. It is filled with thousands and thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, guided fitness and meditation, and sleep tracks, as well as podcasts, and all of those ones you don't need a credit for. So you can download as much as you want. For any of you that are interested in signing up for Audible today, just text Oki to 500-500 or go to audible.com forward slash Oki and you will get one month free. Or on the other hand, if you are already an Audible member, please let me know any book recommendations you have because I've almost finished this one and I'm always looking for more. All right, I think it's time to get into it. If you're lost and you're lonely, go and figure out why. Take a trip to your dark side, go on and have a good cry. Cause we're all lonely, and yeah, we're all lonely together. I want to see your sadness, I want to share your sin. I want to bleed your blood and I want to be let in Don't you just, don't we all just want to be together So the joys of cleaning the van when you have a dog and it's wet outside I just sent Oki outside whilst I did the mop and he sat down in a puddle of water Hey, Hello? how's it going? Oh yeah, how's it going? Yeah, good. What are you up to? Oh my god! Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Oh my gosh! Hello. I need to take you off. I need to take your phone and earbuds. <laughs> Whoa! Fair difference, hey. How stoked are you? Uh, yeah, I'm happy to have it done. I had a hot shower last night and just like the difference, the feeling and being able to dry it in like five minutes was insane. You must feel lighter, right? How, how funny is this? I messaged Eamon the, a photo of me last night and he showed it to Beck, but he didn't give her like any context. Like he just said, oh, check this out. Like with the photo, she didn't know who it was. <laughs> like, le legitimately didn't know who it was. I like the curl. I think it's fun. You I look love like Nick Steamy from Grey's Anatomy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Grey in it. Wow. Wow. In a suit. In a suit. In a suit. In a suit in a van. I've got to wear, like, I've got, because my uniform hasn't arrived yet, I've got to wear corporate clothes. So I've got to wear full, oh. full suit tie. And you meanwhile. Meanwhile, living out of the van for three weeks <laughs> in Sydney, so, so good. yeah. Oh, it's awesome, Max. We're happy for you. Yeah, okay, thank well, you. Good luck. We'll call you tomorrow if we get yeah. service. Let us know how it goes. goes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we want to know how it goes. Thanks, girls. Love you. Love you. Love. Bye. I bloody love those girls. If you don't already follow them, make sure you check out their videos. They are just absolutely beautiful humans who actually brought the sunshine here for a little bit, which was magic. And as you just heard, I need to raid Tom's cupboard because I don't think bare feet are going to cut it as corporate wear down in Sydney. <laughs> Dad and wife. Dad and wife, yeah. Exercise we can. <laughs> what lap are you up to? Uh, 48, I think. How much you got to go? Uh, 
52, that's good mass. Um, when you're done, can I get you to help me tie a tie and I borrow you some corporate wear? Yeah, of course, yeah. See in 50 laps, why don't you show them the uh, caravan footage while you're waiting? Like <laughs> this footage is definitely overdue to be shown. And you just had the pleasure of seeing Darwinism in the flesh. We were bloody lucky to get away with that. I now have corporate attire in my surfboard cupboard, which is a sentence that's probably rarely said. And Tom is just about to come out to show me how to tie a tie. I don't know whether I should be embarrassed that I don't know at 32 how to tie a tie or proud that I've managed to get away with it this long, but this week I'm gonna to need to learn. Hey mate, how you going? <laughs> you are ready to tie some tights? Yeah, I finished my run. When I went for a run in the hallway today, I didn't expect that 100,000 odd people would see it, but uh, you've got your thumbnail at least now. Dad bods. <laughs> well, <laughs> they did just um, see the caravan footage though. Oh, nice, yeah, um, that wasn't our best move. I think, um, look, individually, Max and I are both pretty clever, but when we get together, um, <laughs> some stuff can happen and... Uh, the boys. <laughs> Uh, well, I probably tie ties about twice a year, but here we go. I think for a half Windsor, which is a bit of a smart casual type knot, and uh, you go over and around, and then through. <laughs> no, wait, just wait. No, through. This. I'm going to make that says like go around the cat's head. I don't find that. I think, look, what I've actually done here is do a reverse half Windsor accidentally. So, you know, for all you people watching at home that know what that is. There we go, and then you're like so. It's probably long enough for you, you're a bit shorter than me. And, uh, there Wow, we go. you made that look easy. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> fluke, to be honest. I don't know if that's actually a reverse half Windsor is the thing, I just accidentally did it backwards, so I called it a reverse. I think that's a good length. It's a little bit hipster, like there's a bit of gap there between the... What's the standard? I think... Is it meant to go to your belt? I think so, well, so people are going to... Rip me to shreds because I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks, mate. No worries, I'll be back in five to tie your laces for you. See ya. Oh, look. Look at you. Shake. Okay, let's clean that one first. Other paw. Good boy. Ah, uh, uh, no. Other paw. Good boy. How's this for service, huh? Well, sorry, I lost you there for a quick minute while I kind of was in a mad rush to get everything organized. I've got to now drive, but as you can see, <laughs> as you can now see, I've fully set up the bed and as a true stealth camper, the plan is I'm fully ready to go. So I'm gonna be going to a park not too far away from where the induction course starts and we'll be sleeping there. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about Oki and what he's going to do while I'm in the course. I've actually got somewhere nearby that a kind of doggy daycare that I'm going to be dropping him most days. Oh, no, oh. So he's going to be having fun and I'll be picking him up afterwards. But I'm yeah, I'm just really looking forward to starting this course and just to getting back into paramedics, to helping people. And I don't think I mentioned, but it's the position I have gotten is a casual position. So after these three weeks of full-time coursework is up, provided I get through, and that's why the next few weeks I really need to focus on just relearning everything paramedics and studying. But after these three weeks, I will be casual, which means I can essentially put down my name on the availability and work when I want, just pick up shifts wherever I want across the state, which 
is pretty epic and it's the perfect setup for me right now with the van and with Oki. And yeah, because I still do want to explore things with filming and, and doing some different stuff as well. I've kind of learned that my passions are... Uh, it's better for me to diversify my passions and, and that's why I'm really looking forward to getting back into paramedics because I am really passionate about pre-hospital care. That is enough from me. Thank you for sticking with me and I <laughs> I almost apologise for this video being very mix-matched and probably all over the place, I imagine. But someone told me to stop apologising. At the end of the day, this is my life. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and have gotten something out of it. Thank you so much to Danny and Laura from Hearts and Minds. I absolutely love that barbershop. Can't wait to go back to them. And yeah, I will see you guys again soon. Please continue to be kind to each other, look after each other, and I will see you in the next video. Good night, guys. Bye. What's heavy be?